And hello guys, hope everybody's alright and hope everybody is looking after themselves and welcome to Freedom Fighter. Okay, it's absolutely and utterly pissing down here in Halifax uh, today. So I couldn't actually go out and record this uh, particular area for you. But I'm going to bring it to light. You might have actually noticed that this story that I'm going to pop up on the screen now is actually been in the post of of recent this fly tipping problem and waste problem in Colderdale has been going on for generations it has been going on for absolutely and utterly years it is in a ward known as Worley and it is in a ward known as Park Ward majority of the wards are Labour the Park Wards uh, majority are Labour voters the Worley Ward more or less are Liberal Democrats voters uh, it's one of the wards that are mostly uh, of an asian majority uh, where people speak little english and understand little understanding of english and it's uh, a lot of areas that area is from known for the foreign immigration and that type of thing as well what tends to happen is people don't know how to get rid of the rubbish they don't know what rubbish is they don't know what human waste is and they don't know how to get rid of it properly. They use the excuse that they don't understand English. But they speak perfect English. They speak better English than what I do. Some of them. In the area as well. In the all of the Cosdale district. To take away eight well six items of rubbish of household waste the council actually do charge 25 pounds because it's a private organization called sewers that actually do it uh, and they're located at dean clough mill so what tends to happen with all this fly tipping rubbish and things like that is because these wards are a low income community and a community that like drugs and like smoking drugs and dealing drugs they will pay for their drugs so they get their fix they do not want to pay for anything else they do not give a fuck about what happens to the environment at all up there to be totally honest so they just want their fix they want their drug so they will just chuck out the rubbish in a corner and leave it and then the next week they'll do exactly the same thing and then the next week they'll do exactly the same thing and the next week they'll do exactly the same thing and before you know it rubbish is everywhere they also don't like the idea of having to wheel their wheelie bin to the side of the road on collection day because they are lazy they do not like to wheel their wheelie bin to the side of the road for Mr. Bin Man or Mrs. Bin Man to put in Big Wagon. They don't want that. They're lazy. Very, very lazy. They don't like it. They don't like it. They expect the bin people to actually do it for them. Them days have gone. Them days have changed. It's got fuck all to do with... Anything else that they like to make out that they don't understand in English, they can't read English, it's got fuck all to do with that, that's just an excuse. It goes down to three things. And you know what the three things are? Drug addiction, council charge, and bone laziness. If they got off their ass, the world would change up there and they'd have a better environment. That's all I'm going to say on the matter.